So early Christianity did not have churches. That's a much later invention. Hey guys, it's John here in my home. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. It's a beautiful day outside today. A little chilly, pushing in the high 50s today. Sun is out with partly cloudy skies. Just a lovely day outside. But I wanted to hop on and make this quick video. Being a Catholic or a Christian means that you're, you go to church on a regular basis, typically every Sunday, um, at least once a week. Uh, if you're more devout, you go more times a week. My mom was seven days a week. Um, but the, the idea of going to this church, you know, they also say that you, you can't get married outside of the church building without special compensation. Um, everything comes down to the church and going to this, this building where the church, uh, where the spiritual uh, doctrines of the Christian faith are administered and played out. And it's it's an interesting thing because the word the word church it was a word that was substituted for a different word, and the word was ecclesia, Greek word, and ecclesia, which is the the original word, um, meant a, meant a gathering of people. It did not mean a building. It did not mean a structure. It did not mean a temple. You know, the temple comes from the earlier Judaic practices, but it had nothing to do with the Christian teachings. Um, when you look at the idea of, of the word church, you see, what happened was later in, in history, when the, the Bible was translated many centuries later into German, the word kirch, which is the word for a house of the Lord or a temple of the Lord, uh, became part of the, the actual doctrines. And in those doctrines, they created the word, from the word kirch becomes the word church. And so what they then started to interpret was that, that this church is a building, is our structure, where you go to have, have your, um, your doctrines play out for you. The interesting thing is, is that there's, there, there's no teaching of a, having to go to a specific building or a specific temple in the teachings of Jeshua. There, there's none of that in there. There's no place in, in, in the New Testament where he talks about that. There's no place that says you have to. Those are the doctrines of man that came later. Even they, they call them the, the, the 12 churches or tribes of Israel. And, and you know, they would send letters to the churches. They were sending letters to the encampments of people, the communities of people. It was, had nothing to do with a building or a structure. So a lot of times in our... Um, in our Christian following or our Catholic faith, we go to uh, a church structure, and we always feel so pious. We walk in, we get quiet because it's a sacred space, and we have all that. But the teachings of, Je of Jeshua were more about going out into the world and living a loving life. You know, I, I leave you one commandment, love one another. It doesn't say I, I leave you one command, commandment, uh, sequester yourself in a building somewhere once a week and, and then uh, talk about how pious you are. Because that's what, that's what happens with the Catholic Church and the Christian churches, is they, they because of their choice that, that Jeshua was divine, and because of their choice that they have these, these physical clubhouses that they go to once a week, they've created this, this piety that makes them feel superior or better than others. And what happens is, is they end up becoming, the churches themselves end up becoming very um, critical and and judgmental of anybody who believes separately. Many years ago, I used to uh, speak at a metaphysical center fairly close to here. And the church, uh, there was a Catholic church that used to rent out their choir loft to this metaphysical center. It was very open and inclusive, right? But what they did was they walled off the, the choir loft and they made this, this room upstairs and it became a metaphysical center. And I spoke there because of my past life experience and all that stuff. Well, what happened was downstairs, the congregation started getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Now we know over the past 20 years, Christian churches have lost over 54% of their congregations. Well, as the congregations downstairs got smaller, the metaphysical center grew. And when it got down to the, the final people that were still hanging on downstairs, Upstairs started getting graffiti and, and vandalism, you know, things that said Satan worshiper, 
All kinds of really hateful and harmful things started happening in that choir loft. And the reason that was happening is because the people downstairs who were so vitriolic and so deep into their Christian faith and didn't like the fact that these people were speaking metaphysics or spirituality other than Catholicism in their building, their building, they began to rebel and fight against anybody who believed differently than they. Well, if you drive past that church now, it's boarded up. The Metaphysical Center has bought a building nearby, and they've, they've grown into a big center where people of all faiths and all beliefs and all new age, old, new age, old age, all kinds of uh, spiritual beliefs can come and speak there and have their experiences there. You know, they do meditation and Reiki, and they bring Buddhists in. They do all, they're very open and inclusive. But the church is gone. The building is now boarded up. And it's important because when you have a faith that is so closed and then you, you house it in a building and say, you have to come to this building, you know, eventually people are going to leave because of the fact that they, they feel trapped. You know, when, when I asked um, <laughs> in the other video I did, I was talking about when people were asked what the greatest thing that they, that, that they got after they left the church, their number one thing was freedom. They felt trapped by their religion. Well, the building's a trap, too. You, you, know, you, you go to a new town, you've got to find a new trap to go to, a new building to go to. And that's not to say there aren't beautiful people in, in Christian religions or, Catholic, or Catholicism. There are. There's beautiful people in all religions. The problem is, is when you start to say, we're the only way, and your religion is not anything. And you, you start to disregard people's way of choosing how to, how to praise or love or, or find their own connection to the source. And so when you look at this idea of, of going to this building that is literally something that's not anything Jeshua spoke of, like having to go to a building, you suddenly find out that, that his message was far more broad. It was about humanity and people and loving one another and, and you know, helping your fellow man. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. He was talking about being the ecclesia, the community of people who are reaching out and helping others, not the kirsch. Be the ecclesia, not the kirsch, because that, that is the key, is to be the community of people who love freely and openly and respect other people's beliefs and religions. You know, if you, go, if you watch on my, on my other channel, John of New, there's videos about Doreen Virtue in there. Now, I didn't judge her at all in those videos. I just stated it as I saw it. You know, I literally said she has her own path, and I can respect her path, you know, but I just don't like the fact that she scares people to her path. Um, but I, the people who attack, the people who get angry, are the people who are stuck in their buildings, stuck in their churches, in their belief structures, their, their, their doctrines that everybody else is wrong, and how, you know, how dare you say this about her because she became a Christian. That's just the, the division of Christianity, saying that everybody else is wrong, we're right. It's, it's trying to be superior. It's putting themselves above their fellow man, which is antithetical to everything Jeshua taught. You know, we're not a building. We're a people. In the movie Thor Ragnarok, the Marvel movie Thor Ragnarok, the font line was, uh, Asgard is not a place, it's a, it's a people. And that's, that's, what, that's what spirituality is. It's being completely inclusive of your fellow humans. You know, I don't like to say my fellow man because it's so gender oriented. I'd rather say my, my fellow people in the physical experience, you know. But it comes down to this place of, of the church is, is another limitation. The building is another limitation. Get out of the churches. Get out of the place. Go out and, and love one another. Put your, your compassion into the world and show people what Jeshua taught. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. When that metaphysical center had graffiti and all that hate speech written on their walls, they were doing that to Jesus. They were doing that to Jeshua. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. And so when you look at that expression, the, the people who own the building desecrated the building to drive out people that thought differently than they. So why? Why is this the case? Because they weren't loving. They were judgmental and fearful. They were more of an Old Testament God than the, than the God of love that Jeshua spoke of. And 
I'll choose the God of love every day because I think there are beautiful people in all religions, all faiths, in, in the New Age uh, systems and the Old Age systems and the atheists and the agnostics. I've met beautiful people that are Buddhist and Hindu and Muslim and Baha'i, Wiccan. I've met them all, They're all and i found beautiful people everywhere. But the ones who judge and say they're the only way and they're the ones who are right, they, they don't have a lot of my respect because... Uh, their respect is, is harmful or hurtful or judgmental to others. And I think that that's, that's their church. That's their building. They're trapped in their building of their belief. And when you open your mind and you start to look around and see that all people can be loving no matter what they believe, then you find the ecclesia. You find the community that is much larger than one faith can absolutely hold. And so that's my thought on this. You guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.